or the guy, all the American guys are winning today? Um, I, I can't speak for everybody else. Uh, I don't pay attention to the crowd. I didn't even know if they were rooting against me or for me. Uh, you know, I have tunnel vision. I just kind of fight, make sure uh, when I'm in that octagon, I know I'm fighting just one person, not everybody else. And the, cr the crowd wasn't even, in, you know, I didn't even think about them at all until uh, the fight was over and my hand was being raised. And I, you know, I was surprised. I got some cheers, dude. No one was really booing, so uh, I thought I did a good job, I guess. <laughs> Great. Uh, did it feel any different from fighting in Stockholm in your debut? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I prepared a lot better for this fight. And in Stockholm, uh, I was, you know, battered with a lot of injuries. I had a bad shoulder and a, a bum knee. I didn't really get to train that hard. And it showed. I got tired in that last fight. Even not saying I didn't get tired in this fight, but uh, I think Santiago is a big, uh, a big step up from the, the, the last guy I fought. And. Uh, And I train, you know, I had a really good training camp. I started out with the with the Black Zillions. Uh, I go down there every uh, before all my camps. Those guys are like brother. They're like family to me. Everybody, even coming out here, they help me out with everything. And I, of course, I got my camps back home at Belmore Kickboxing and Long Island MMA. Uh, my coach Keith, Keith wasn't here, and uh, Henry Hoof is one, you know, legendary kickboxing coach. Was able to take his place, and I have him in my corner anyway. But uh, he took his place, and you know, I listened to his, followed his direction, directions, and uh, got the win. So I'm really happy with everybody I train with. My manager Glenn, my wife Danielle, my coaches, and uh, everybody that was here for me, you know. Uh, Ryan, just real quick, you you had a, a long break. You you had a string of injuries a couple of years ago. Could you tell us how that felt and, and how you feel right now being in the UFC? You you had an impressive run on the East Coast. You know, you're, you're a great undefeated fighter. Who, could you tell us how that felt back then and co comparing to now? Uh, yeah, I had a little different mindset back then. I was a little more reckless uh, then. I you know I just really wanted this to. I fought with more heat back then. I was a lot younger now. I have a wife and family, and I you know I'm thinking about what I'm doing now. And even though I was out for two years, I didn't step away from the sport. I opened up a gym. I, you know, really took a look at the sport from the outside in, and I got to learn a lot about myself and about the sport. And uh, I improved. You know, I was just an average grappler, and now I think I'm, you know, I can grapple with some of the best, and I can strike with some of the best too. So I think uh, everything happens for a reason. The layoff, uh, you know, I think it helped me more than hurt me. Great, Ryan. Thanks Thank again. Congratulations. Great win. Thank you.